Holy Cross looks to advance to third round of the TAP softball playoffs while Antonian is already in the regional final. Yes, they are. Game one of that set, the Apaches in San Marcos to take on Houston St. Thomas, a spot in the state semifinals on the line. Not a great start for Antonian, though. First inning, Daniel Coco at the plate for St. T. Pitch gets away. Jack Show comes across for the first run of the game, and they're just getting started. Tuscan Sabrino at the plate now makes contact. Apaches on target for a routine play at first. They did get it, but Brigden logs in. Brody logs in, I should say, is on third, so he makes it two zip. Antonian trying to get back one back in their first header half of the first. Kite McDonald gets on, aggressive base running, costing him though. Thrown out at second. The next time St. Thomas comes up the bat, they get right back in the scoring column. Jack Shell again scores Peter Corbett. This time it was Shell at the plate for a 3 0 lead. From there, Apache's pitcher Trent Reynolds does settle in, strike out there. And then another K to end the inning. The throw to first necessary here after the ball kind of scoots by. But to the third we go, Antonian finally getting on the board. Hot shot up the middle for Kite McDonald. There he is again, allowing Maddox McDonald across the plate. Now three to one. They would get closer, but not close enough. Antonian loses game one, four to three. Our Marcus Floyd is there with post-game coverage. Welcome out here to San Marcos, where we're joined by uh, Trenton Reynolds, who was the uh, losing pitcher, unfortunately, tonight in the four to three loss to Houston St. Thomas. But uh, Trenton, what, what was the difference in this game tonight, do you think? I think it was just came down to a matter of plays. I mean, a bang-bang play at third base, we throw the ball away, a missed squeeze, but those are all plays that win and lose ball games. A close game, you have to execute those plays, but I think tomorrow we can come out and we can execute those plays. How did you feel out there on the mound tonight? felt good. I knew the first inning I was a little all over the place, and once I got past the first inning, I settled in, and I was cruising for a little while there. And then pitch count got a hold of me, but we're good. We got a big bullpen, so we'll be ready for tomorrow. Now, it did look like your curve was working a little bit. It had them kind of befuddled uh, a little bit. They were they were swinging all over the place with that one. Yeah, that's been my go-to pitch all year. Uh, it's been my go-to pitch since last year, too, and we played them last year. So it was a good pitch that I think I had a lot of strikeouts with. So hopefully we can use everybody else's pitches tomorrow. What is it going to take for you guys to come back and force the game three tomorrow, you think? I think we just have to hit today like we did. We fought off at the plate. We got Josh's pitch count up, and we got him out of the game, and now we got to test their bullpen, and we're going to have to beat them one-on-one, mano y mano, and we got to beat them. You guys are pretty familiar with this team over there, so you guys, no, there's no fear. You guys are ready to match up with them, weren't you? Yes, we played them the last three years in the playoffs, so it's we know them very well, but we're confident we can get it done tomorrow. How about who's, who does, who's pitching tomorrow, and what do you think they need to do to, to, to stymie these guys? Uh, we got junior Brandon Beckel, senior Michael Boki, and senior Orion Gomez, and all three of them can go up there and deal, and they'll all get wins at the, at the mound and let us compete at the plate. Well, the Antonio and Apaches came up a little bit short in this playoff game. They lost 4-3, to three, but they really played really tough in this game. Kite, what was the difference in this game, you think? Uh, it's just a few uh, runs here and there. They scratched a, one more run than we did, and that's, that's what happened. It's baseball. You guys never gave up in this game, though, because you had a chance right up until the end, didn't you? Yes, sir. We never gave up. I mean, we know we can come back on that. We had it. But What, what did you think about this this other team overall? I mean, they're, they're a pretty tough team for out, out of Houston, but you guys weren't scared, though, are you? Uh, no, sir. You know Josh, he's, he's supposed to go in the first round. He pitched really well and came out. We put a few runs, so we got him tomorrow. What is it going to take for you guys to win tomorrow night, Brandon, you think? Uh, just more hits. Once we get on base, once we get in scoring position, we got to get them in. Manufacture more runs that way. What, what about these? I mean, these guys have a, a couple of guys that, that may play, uh, you know, down the line on there. I mean, but again, in baseball, that doesn't really matter a lot, does it? No, sir. I mean, anybody can win on any, any given day. Like Marlins beat the Cubs just the other day, so it happens. So, what what do you guys defensively have to do tomorrow to, to slow them down a little bit? Uh, I mean, we had a, we had a few pass balls, but I mean, nothing you can do about that. There, just gotta be clean, make plays when they count. The guys on base. This time of year, what does it take to win games and, and to be good right now? Uh, pitching. Pitching, definitely. I think pitching. Once you shut them down, I mean, all we got to do is score. Scoring is easy for us. We just got to pitch. You heard that back there in the studio, guys. Pitching and play a little defense. And tomorrow night, we'll see if they can come up with a little bit better score and push this to a game three.